Hello everybody out there, this is Vagabond Zero. And today, as you can see right here in front of you, is that I'm going to do an unboxing of the Optimus Prime Dual Model Kit. Now, this is a kit that's been made by Taka, Takayara Tomi. That's a pretty kind of for some of you who do not know, it's a pretty big um, toy company that uh, make a lot of um, a lot of different um, uh, kits and oh, well, not a lot of different kits. I mean, a lot of different figures. So they mostly, um, I think they have been made. I mean, they made um, like a lot of the uh, Micross figures and and I think uh, and also I think they also do a lot of the um, all the Transformers figures. So anyways, um, as you saw right there in the, uh, pretty much the front box of it. So yeah. I got this kit because I, um, I, when they first released it, uh, I didn't get a chance to buy it. And when they, um, were floating around for resale, they were costing like, um, close to $200. So, yeah, I wasn't going to pay for that. Until I saw that they um, they said they're gonna have a reissue of it on um, on Homily Japan, and I ordered one. I pre-ordered one, and the um, uh, yeah, what is it? The um, retail price was like um, uh, I think it was like eighty-seven or uh, eighty-two dollars, somewhere around there. <clears throat> so, anyways, uh, let's just take a, a quick look at the um, box here. Um, so you already saw the front, so let's uh, take take a quick look at the um, at the sides here. You can see right there is uh, the kit itself. Nice figure. It's based on the Optimus Prime from the um, from the movies. It's a 135 scale. And over here you can see that the you can see that it had. Um, We've got its armor on the um, uh, the uh, inner frame. I guess they took the idea from Bad Night's Master Rate um, line. And let me just flip over this this box right here. So as you can see right here, it has its, um, its weapons, which is our, its um, wrist blades. I was kind of a bit, uh, a bit disappointed that it didn't come with its, um, both of its um, cannons or whatever it is that um, you call them. But of course it has an option, an option to um, either have his um, battle mask, his, um, battle mask on or open. Here's a nice front view of it, nice rear view, and of course some um, posing of it, the posing of the frame itself. So let's um, take a look inside. So first up is the, uh, I think this is part. Of, yeah, it's called the B tree. Now, as you can see already at once, that the um, pretty much the parts are already painted with the uh, flames on it. As you can see right there. You can also see that they also painted in the outer details, like the like this uh, silver um, gears or whatever it shows. Here's another, uh, more parts of it is the D tree. And as you can see right here, here's the, um, face. And as you can tell, it has transparent eyes. You can see when you put you can see that. And it's both of the faces, of course, separately. The open face one. And the, uh, closed face battle mask on. And I guess this pretty much, uh, makes up the, um, head, I think. 
I can see a lot, a lot of hit pieces here. Like, uh, I think this is probably the back of the head, top of the head, the um, sides, the, uh, I think it's probably the ears, or should I say the little pointy ear things or whatever. Oh yeah, one cool little thing that I found out the um, that they designed the um, Optimus, this Optimus Prince head up, uh, after a samurai helmet. Kind of like the same thing like um, how Gundam's uh, head are designed after a samurai's helmet as well. So there's that piece. And some separate pieces right here and, and separate little bags. Here's some pieces of it, um, of course, painted. You can see right there. I believe these are um, probably the doors or something like that. I'm not 100% sure right now. So, yeah, a lot of pieces right there. Now we can move on to some red pieces right here. And as you can see, some pieces are, are separate in bags. Here's the um, uh, flame painted on them, of course. Very nice um, detail work on them. And of course, here's some more of them uh, pieces that are painted. And here's some more pieces of course painted small details on it, like a little fold. Uh, triangles right there. Of course, you can make out all the little details on on the um, on the body itself right there. Very nice. I'll probably well panel line it to give it more of a um, to give it more depth to the um, details and everything. So there's that. And right here we have some transparent pieces. These of course are the um, blades. They're a nice light orange coloring. And as I can tell right there they have the um, the um, uh, I don't know what they call the um, the scribbling or something, the uh, wording of the um, Transformers from the movie. Here we have some silver pieces, or should I say, kind of like a, a kind of a bit of a flat or plastic silver, but yeah, silver nonetheless, with some coloring on it. This one looks like they're kind of a gunmetal color, and here's some gold, uh, some gold coloring on it, on these pieces. And of course, some detailing on the back right here. And yeah, these are the pieces for the uh, hands. You can see right here, you see like all the finger joints. They do kind of remind me of the Master Grave fingers, especially the um, 2.0 ones. Some nice detailing, small detailing, some nice little detailing right there. A little like detailing hydraulics. Of course, both of the palms. That's very nice. Next up is um, I think some framework or something like that. Right here, you can see the um, Autobot logo. I don't know if we can make it out right there. Very nice detailing on it. You can definitely make out the um, Autobot logo. Very cool detailing on these things. Pretty much well, uh, kind of worth the price. Of course, this is the H tree.
And let me see. Of course, some more see, uh, silver pieces detailing on it, of course. Remember some people, they're probably going to try to paint uh, some of these pieces. Nice um, piping, uh, piping from the, uh, from, I guess, from the engine. I think these are probably from a part of the ribs, I think. Of course, some uh, nice uh, gold coloring on, on some of the pieces right here. You can make them right there. And of course these are silver coloring, but they're different as you can tell right there. These are more of a light silver coloring. Of course a nice uh, gold pieces right there painted. Of course you can make right here the um, disc brakes. That's very cool. And I and I think these are the um, kind of like the quote unquote shoulder shoulder joints or, or like or like um, somewhere around there. Next up right here, some more silver pieces that be the dark silver, kind of a gunmetal. Nice detailing. Very cool detailing. So many pieces. Hmm. And more silver coloring pieces, of course. A lot of it seems to be almost like... Uh, Almost like a whole different frame that you gotta add on top of the um, already um, inner frame that's already built. I just hope the instructions are clear, uh, clear enough to put it together. Some nice pieces. And of course, uh, here are the um, rubber pieces. These are the um, tires, of course. And also, you can see um, a little tree of uh, poly caps. Rubber poly caps. Those are nice. And of course, I think these are probably, um, probably water transfer decals. Let's just take a quick look here. Yep, these are probably these are water transfer decals. You can make out right here. And kind of suck that they, um, they're in Japanese, but they still give you the numbering for each part. That's very nice. I still have not messed with um, water transfer decals, so I'm kind of like, I don't know about them. Okay. Let's just quickly put these back before something happens to them. And of course, here's a tree made up of chrome pieces. 
you can see right here, here's some of the um, chrome um, rims on the tires. And of course, uh, chrome gas tank. Uh, the um, smokestacks, which are the kind of like the, you know, the mufflers or whatever on the truck. And some more tanks. Some more the chrome parts. So yeah, there's that. And of course, here's the quote unquote inner frame. I wonder how long it would take it uh, take even more if the inner frame wasn't already built. All those other pieces. And last but not least, the complete booklet of it. I mean, look at all this. Look at all these pieces. I've never seen through all these pieces, and still, no. Well, you need to take it. Uh, take apart uh, some parts to add the other parts. Well, that's a that's a very detailed. But still, a lot of pieces. Lots and lots of pieces. Of course, the um, building of the hands right there. I do not know how long this is going to take me. This feels like a master grade. More detailing uh, details of all the parts. And of course, in the back right here, shows you the um, color chart. And I guess the decal guide? I think it's a decal guide. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So yeah, I think, um, I don't know if the decals are for... For people who, who decide to paint it and still want the flames, or they're actually, you have to add them no matter what. Probably for people who actually paint them, actually paint the um, kit itself and... And still need the uh, flame decals to complete the kit. But anyways, um, that's it for my unboxing of this pretty huge kit. I mean, when I first um, saw it, I didn't think, I didn't think it was uh, pretty big. But after I got the kit in the mail, it's um, yeah, it's a pretty huge kit. I say if um, I don't know if Hobby Link Japan still has it, but um, you know, look up and look it up and see if they still have it. And you know, if you really want to get it, it seems like a pretty cool. Pretty cool kit, and uh, if you're uh, like me, a gunpla builder, it's um, it's nice to take a a build from of a kit that's not a Gundam. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed that. I know I did, and definitely gonna be something to put it together. So I'll catch you guys later, and keep on building those kits, and yeah, bye.